Hi everyone, welcome back to World of Mike, the part at Cranklin. Today we've got issue number three of the Infinity Gauntlet from Marvel. Yes, can't wait to get this. Thanos' famous glove. And in this issue, we're going to be working on the Time Stone. And I keep going around the same time zone, but it's actually Time Stone. <laughs> so this is quite a big bit. Um, very similar to how we did the uh, the very first stone that we worked on. I can't remember what colour, um, what the name of it is, but it's the red one that we worked on. So very, very similar. It's just a, a little bit bigger on this one. Um, and then as you can see, we should have something like this. This will actually fit onto Thanos' thumb, as you can see here. So that's going to be where it is um, in that issue. Now I'm just going to show you some of the parts that we get. As you can see, these are the parts. They are pretty big. So, as you can see, we've got the... That's basically the size of the thumb. So, this is going to be a humongous thing. Um, and as you can see, really, really big. So, we've got them parts there. And then we have this part here. As you can see, this is all um, die cast, by the way. We do get some clips with screws in. That's very nice of them to pack it all in one, which is fabulous. So, really, really cool. And as you can see, we've got our little contraption thing. So, uh, as you can see, the uh, the magnets, that will just suck it into where it needs to go. And then we have the little the little uh, gem thing. Let's get that down a bit for you. So, as you can see, this is the little plastic covering there. And then also, we have our little circuit ball clip thing. As you can see, you've got your little switch on and off. Um, Fan Home also provided us with this lovely pack of three batteries. So, uh, they very very nice of them to do that so first things first what we want to do is we want to bring in this get that down a little bit more and what we want to do is we want to get our switch so you can see here we've got like a cutout and then the other end is semicircular so they want it so that this semicircular bit is at the bottom we want to put this switch into this mechanism here so as you can see we've got these two little um, metal sections and we want it so that the switch is going to feed up the top now you'll notice you've got little cutout sections at the bottom that's basically so we can put these uh, little pins in and you can bend them slightly to get them in if you wish um, it's entirely up to you for example this might need a little bit moving and as you can see that should hopefully go right the way down now so I'm just going to have a bit of a moving situation here we're just gonna push that around give it a little bit of a wriggle there and a little bit over here we're just gonna try and this one's a little bit not going on the pin but as you can see all it takes a little bit of a wriggle about and it goes on so you've got the two posts holding it in and we're going to secure them in with two screws so we're going to get our screws and these are in this little pack here so very very cool i can't wait to light this thing up <laughs> So, I'm going to screw that into here. This has been very generous here. Look at the size of that pack. So, I suspect we'll be using um, this pack as well in the next couple of issues. So, I'm going to get my lovely Iron Man fan home screwdriver. And we're going to get them secured in. So, we need to put a screw into these two holes here. Okay. Um, just remember, this is not magnetised. So, I'm going to have to try my best here. Um think it's only this side and then obviously the back side let me just try my other screwdriver because i have got a twin and it looks like this Ta -da! <laughs> so is that magnetized oh it's a little bit better isn't it yeah that one is not magnetized so i'm gonna have to get a magnetizer on that and what we're going to do is we're just going to screw that into position there we go a little bit of i love these screwdrivers one of the best qualities out there um so yeah, what just something just snapped there. I felt like a crack. So you got to be careful with this as well, because remember you are working on a, a circuit board as well. So you break that, you're going to be in the boo boo. So don't want to over tighten it, but just like that. Okay, and then we're next. Wouldn't it be lovely if Fan Home bring out like a purple screwdriver? Because I am aware. I think it's issue four, five, or six. They actually provide us with a purple cloth, so that's really cool. Um, it's like a dusting cloth thing, so that's really nice of them to do that. So we'll just secure that into there as well. And that's that one into position. And as you can see. We're all ready to put the batteries into the back of that. 
lovely chocolate. So now what we need to do is apparently we've got some springs, which I didn't see actually, but there are there, but just a bit there. So this is the fiddly bit because we've got to put the springs on and try and put that little green thing on at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, so these little screw uh, springs are gonna go into these two holes here. So we're gonna pop one into there like so. Um, let's get that out. So we're gonna pop that into there. Whoops. This is where you need a bit of tweezers for this job sometimes. And we'll pop that into there. Lovely jubbly. And then that one can go into there. Right ho. So as you can see, we've got the two springs into there. And what's gonna happen is, um, sorry, I've done that wrong. That should have gone onto that one. I don't know why I thought it had to go on the next one, but they're obviously screw holes, aren't they? So, <laughs> but yeah, lovely jubbly. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our time stone, as you can see, and this looks like this, and it looks as if, it looks like there's a little cutout section, which I think is that part there, and it looks like that's gonna go at the top. So again, that's gonna feed over the top. So that just creates a, creates a little bit of bounce for it. Um, I'm just sort of wondering how is it gonna gonna push on push off so we'll see how that goes because i remember with the first stone we had a bit of problem trying to get that to stay in didn't we so next what we're going to do is we're going to get this part here which is going to all in sort of case it now and you'll see that if we turn this up how do they want it they want the thinnest part at the top by the looks of it um you can see we've got one two and three that's going to feed into this hole this hole there and this hole there okay so this is where it's going to start to I'm just checking as well one two one so that's what you want that click I think that's a winner winner chicken dinner so we'll turn that over as you can see we've got two screw holes here that we're going to put a screw in so it feels really heavy now this is one by far one of the best part works that I think Van Home have ever done because there's never been something this scaled before. Um, so this is one of their popular ones. So we've got one there, probably rounded the head there. <laughs> so yeah, that's one and we'll screw in the next one. I think these only take a couple of turns, so. I don't feel like it's going into anything. Let's just pop that there a minute. Oh, what's happening with this? Doesn't feel like it's. Uh... Right, I'm going to get another screwdriver here because I think. Maybe this is a little bit too big for that. So I'm just going to see whether. I'm just going to try and take it down a notch. I'm going to try this one here because you'll see it's got a bit of a chunkier head on it. So I wonder if it just needs a little bit. No. That's far too big for that. can't get that screw in and it's very aggravating because this screw head fits it as you can see so I don't understand why it's not going in see that one's going in perfect how strange what's that one I just can't seem to let's tie that out a bit if I can it seems to be like stuck now so just about there, so oh, do you know what? It's on, isn't it? It's not falling out. I'll have to tackle that at a later date, but it's just not having it. So what I'll have to do is try and manoeuvre that back out at a later date. I'm not going to fuss around with that now. Um, so that's that section. Right, next what we want to do is... Oh, lovely, it's fell out. Yay! <laughs> wasn't expecting that um let's try a different screw see if that works 
see if we can get that in if we get come on there we go could be that sometimes the screw plays up or it's the actual hole but you can see there's a big clearance hole there i don't know if you can see that very well but yeah it was the screw so that's going in there how strange yeah wow that screw wasn't liking it okay so as you can see they're all in now how weird is that okay so next what we're going to do is you see we've got these two magnets we're going to put a bracket over here which looks like this you want to face it downwards okay so it's nice and flush and again we're going to screw them in to position so yeah I don't think it'll be long because I've got issue, I think it's three, four, five, and six. Um, is it, yeah, I think issue five is the palm and then issue six is another piece of the palm. So what's happening with that? That's that dodgy screw, isn't it? Oh, I wish they do like the Ziploc bags. Not a lover of these packets. Okay, it's going to see that's what you've got to be careful of, it will grab it. <laughs> okay. See look, going in perfectly. So there is something wrong with that screw. It doesn't want to go in. It's one, and then we'll get the next one. Also, what I will say as well, thing with bloody bags he was telling me. Also, what I will say as well is be careful what is be careful where you touch on here because this weathering stuff they put on that will come off if you keep rubbing it. So I wouldn't do that if I were you, um, because I made the mistake of I was thinking is that dirt or what, and I rubbed it and it pulled it all off. So I had to get a replacement. So yeah, had to. Uh, be very careful not to move that if I were you, because it will go very shiny. So, okay, so that's that. I'm just sort of wondering, how is it going to connect? Because obviously, if that's gone through there, it's... Hmm, just wondering how it's going to suck onto it, because it would need, like, a strong... But it's, that's covering it sort of thing. But, hmm, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But let's put that one onto there. And then we'll put that there. And get the next one screwed in. So yeah. Get that all skewed in. I can't wait to power this up. They've stopped doing the Ecto-1, haven't they? I can't remember if I told you guys. But Fan Home has made the decision not to bring back the Ecto-1. So. Yeah. I'm not sure if the... I think it's probably to do with all the issues with the Red Sea and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but yes, yeah, it's a bit sad to see that go, really, I suppose. But uh, I keep checking it every day, trying to see what this new collection is, but <laughs> they're making us wait. So that's that one. Lovely. So as you can see, that's in. And... Um, might have to adjust that but let's put that over to there and then we'll get our batteries just got to put three in here now this is where i'm going to test it first before we do anything else because we need to ensure that that's we don't want to over tighten it that it's not going to um click on and off so as a rule i do like my screws nice and tight but we'll just have to wait and see on this so it could be on already it could be off we'll soon find out <laughs> so let's put that one in there where's the other one Kachin. there we go and we'll put that oh yeah it's on i just saw that so let's turn that off i don't think we'll have to adjust it you know see a very strong magnet so you've got to be careful but oh it's still on what's going on here Ah, uh, right, yeah. Okay, so let's get the back of it on. You can see the light's illuminated. It's gone off, but I, yeah, I think we're going to have to adjust that slightly. So let's put the battery into here. And we'll screw that into position. 
I mean, it may not need it, but we just have to wait and see on that part. That's one. Now, this is the moment of truth. So we've got to see if it turns on. One. Yeah, two. Okay, so one, two. One, two. Do you know what? I'm not going to adjust that because, yeah, it gets stuck a bit there, but... If I press it at the top, one, two, one, two, uh, two. I, I'm happy with that. I mean, we could loosen it if we wanted to, but if it's going to turn on, you see, it turns on, and then I can press it again, and then it turns off. I don't think I want to adjust that because, yeah, it's entirely up to you. But as I said, one, two, one, two. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Lovely. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to bring in this lovely section of the more of the thumb. And we get this gorgeous bit here that looks like a semicircle bit. It's actually got the word A12 on there printed there. And we've got three holes here. And what's going to happen to that, we're going to turn this over. Okay, so it looks like they want it. So we've got this little chunk took out. And you can see here that we've got three larger holes and then three smaller holes. The way it wants us to put this on is it wants it so that these three holes, as you can see, you're going to put the flat side onto these parts here. So it's going to go somewhere like that, you should imagine. So, yeah, it'll go something like that. And then obviously with the holes facing upwards. So, yeah, that's brilliant. Wow, okay. So let's secure that in. I'm just going to double check that. Mm, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to secure the screws in. And as you can see, these will go into our three holes here. So one, two, and three. Okay. And we're going to secure that in from here. Whoops. Sorry, my big hands in the way. <laughs> Oh, how to film it. <laughs> Could do with a bit of uh, oil for this bit, but I haven't got none over here. I keep forgetting to oil, um, bring it over, you see, because uh, this build is so big, I keep it at my office. So it's just uh, a bit of a challenge trying to take it home. So... This one has to stay here. Okay, so let's get another screw. And then I think I'll do the next one in here, yeah. It's lovely quality, this. I really, really like this. It's just, it's it's humongous, and that's what I love about it. So much detail and care has gone into this. Lovely, okay, so then we'll get the next screw. and That can go down there. Um, all secured up, which is lovely. Lovely, chubbly. So that's that. And can I just say, if you are a fan of Peter Rabbit cross stitch, I do do that on my craft channel, which is Crafts with Mike. Um, so if you want to see that, um, we've got to be starting that up very soon. And then, what's lovely about this? I love it. Does anyone else like this? You know, when you get like two parts and you get to put it all in one, in one issue. I love it when they do that. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna now feed, this is saying it wants to go in the back way. So yeah, so as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, and five, and there's one, two, three, four, and five. So looking at this, what it wants us to do is it wants us to put it in so that the screw hole is up the top so you want the bottom bit of that one so that technically the stones facing up the top that is absolutely oh wow i can't get over that that's massive wow oh wow oh look at that that's actually look you can fit that in your hand that's um, oh man i'm speechless that is absolutely fantastic so now we get the job of I think I've underestimated these. These screws might be all for this, you know. 
<laughs> so let's screw in this one so you can see we've got one, two, three, four, and five, and we're gonna start to connect this all up now. So we'll screw that all into position. And these screws only take like literally a few turns. They go in lovely. So Thanos has now got his thumb ready and his mind stone. Well, technically it's the time stone that goes on his thumb, but yeah, wow, this is. See, this is like Iron Man in a way because you know where you've got that, that little clip that sits on top of the Iron Man shoe. And then under there, you've got the switch. That's like this. It's sort of like covering up the thumb and stuff. So I really like this. This is a superb kit. Absolutely fan that dabby dozy. I'm just going to take that one out a minute because I think that was the faulty screw. So it's a good job you've got a magnet on here because, like, if you drop your screw, it will catch it for you. <laughs> That's one, well, three actually, we've done three now, no, two, haven't we? So, wow, fantastic. And you know the best bit is getting rid of all the blister packs as well. That's another great thing about these uh, little kits that we've got here. Where, which one was it, was it? I've lost it, where's it gone? Was it that one? Which one is it, this one? No. Okay, <laughs> okay, um, hmm, maybe we've done it then, or is it this one? Ah, yeah, it looks like this one. Just back that up a bit and then screw that back down. There we go. Just got a little bit off alignment there. Oh, gorgeous. Now I can see there's a little bit of a paint defect here. You see there's a bit of chunk of metal stuck there. It might stop the screw from going in, but the screw will try uh, probably move that out of the way for us. So, yeah, I reckon that will just drive that through. So it should, yeah, see? So it's cut it through for us, which is lovely. This one don't feel like it's uh, going in again. So, hmm. Oh, blimey, that is loose. Wow. But it's that bloody 41. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, it's biting it now. Some of them take a... I think they're all, like, different levels, as you can see. So, some might take a different level and stuff. But that is... Oh, man. <laughs> Wow, absolutely over the moon with that. I love doing that issue. That is a really, really beautiful, beautiful issue to do. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, that is that done. So, what we'll do now is we will see the next issue on the channel soon. So, just to recap, that is issue number three. Um, issue four, I believe it's something to do with the Mind Stone. Uh, you know, that yellow one, so we'll be encasing all that into there. But just to have another re recap as well is one, whoops, one. Look at that. It's a shame it's not uh, the evening yet, because if it was the evening, then I could do, you know, show you the dark and stuff. But uh, it's um, still like five o'clock in the evening. So uh, unfortunately, we can't show you yet. But... Having said that, if I just pull this blind down, why do you not think of this to start off with? <laughs> um, let's just move this blind down. Yeah, if we just put that over here slightly. Let's just move that slightly over there. You can see it's got a bit of power to it. It's just, it's just not evening, so I can't show you well. But look at that. I can't get over that. I'm probably going to adjust this, you know. Because that should really sort of click off the minute you press it sort of thing. Apologies about the wine glass there. But, uh, yeah, wow. Look at that. I'm going to be playing with that all night. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, what I could do is just... Let's try to loosen it off a bit. Just take it off a slid. Just a, a shimmy. 
yeah see the difference it's made so if it's too tight because you've got to remember there's a spring if that's too compressed it's going to play up so you need to sort of like reduce it a bit and then it will click on and off before we were having a bit of difficulty but as you can see just by loosening that off one two two one two yeah love it absolutely fantastic so that is that that's brought to you by fan home at the infinity gauntlet brought to you by fan home and uh Thanos, now's ha Thanos now has a bit more of his hand done. But if you want to get this build for yourself, I cannot recommend it enough. It is such a fantastic build to work on. We've never had nothing to this scout before, and we've never had a glove before. So uh, it's going to be quite amazing once done. Um, the next couple of stones, obviously, just to recap, we've done the red, the yellow, and now the green one. I think probably the next one might be the blue one. Um, but yeah. Um, I quite would like to get the pink one, but yeah, so uh, we'll get more of this coming up on the channel soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, like, share, subscribe, tap that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the action. And we'll see you again soon for more of the Infinity Gauntlet. Bye-bye.